<laughs> yeah, bye. <laughs> All right, XOXO. <laughs> Got a girl. Audrey at Home is filmed in front of a live Pitbull audience. Good morrow and merry meet. My name is Audra and you are in for a treat. All right, y'all, this is a fun little video. It's gonna be short. This is just a couple of things that I bought in my fugue state. For those of you that don't know, basically what happens is I work so many hours that I compensate for it by buying shit I don't need, but I want it. So I have a few things like that for you today. We're gonna have some swatches, whatnot. This look is up on Instagram, I'm hoping. Y'all, okay, I have one more look from the um, um, Lethal Cosmetics Night Flower, and then I will be doing a review on it. I have one more look I've gotta do. I'm like, oh, but look at this highlight, bitch, I'm gorgeous. Anyways, before we get started into the things I fugue bought for myself, I wanted to highlight a viewer gift. Please hold while I grab it. Okay, so I believe it was on a live stream with myself, uh, Nappy Headed Jehovah T and Emily Hanhan, and I think we were talking about perfumes or something like that. I feel like we were talking about perfumes. We were all talking about how much we like clean scents. Blah, blah, bleed, blah, beat a boop, bop, beep. Any who's it, one of y'all kindly sent me some fragrances from Hexenacht. It is a perfume oil, and I've gotta tell you right now, I'm hooked on these. I am hooked on these perfume oils. My favorite one, so the two that they were, that they sent was Norman Loves Mother and Scream Queen. Scream Queen has more of like a candy scent. Like if you wanna be like, my love, do you ever dream of candy coated raindrops? You're the same, my candy rain. I probably had to cut that, but anyways, because you know how these folks be. They don't let you sing shit on YouTube anymore. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know what happened. Any who's it's. Um, so it does have like, this, this one smells more like candy. And I like that. I like that for very specific reasons. Anyways, am I gonna give them to you? No. Uh, and then there's another one that they sent that's Dreamweaver. And this one has like a pungency to it that I enjoy. Like it's it's tangy. It's tangy. This is a this was like every order it feels like if you every order they send you like a little like a little tester and they're perfume oils. So like when are they gonna go bad? I don't know. Never. Maybe. Probably. It's not perfume. It, there's no alcohol. That's the thing. From what I can tell, I can't smell it. But my favorite is Norman Love's Mother. Now this is very, very smoky. It's like, I did not realize how much I like these kind of like smoky fragrances. And I like this so much that I went ahead and bought another one, which I didn't like, but the freebie that they sent, please hold while I grab those, because I didn't think about it when I grabbed this. So I enjoyed the gifts so much that I was like, ooh, I love Hexanock. So I ordered All Souls Night, which to me smells like a Band-Aid. It has like a very, like I don't know how else to say, it smells like a Band-Aid. Which, it's nice to layer, which I know sounds weird, but I, but I don't love this one. Howsomever, they sent Take Me to Church, which baby, it does. This. The only way I can describe it, and I've described it to my to Emily before, I said, I smell like a whiskey neat, like a very expensive whiskey neat. And I love it. So if y'all are interested, listen, I don't have a code or anything like that, uh, but if y'all are interested in perfume oils, definitely go check them out. I will have a link below that's not affiliated because this is a small business, but I just wanted to talk about thank you to whomever sent that to me. And if it's you and you're watching, I want you in particular, to drop a heart, a rose, and a heart. Okay, heart, rose, heart. Heart, rose, heart. Okay, so then that way I can thank you from the very bottom of my heart, because it's so amazing. Also, another quick thing, it comes in this bag. Look at how fucking cool this bag is. Like, this bag is cool as shit. It comes in these bags and, no baby, it's not for you. And they send stickers, they send stickers with it. Stickers, y'all. 
So I am, and it's a bat sticker, a Christmas bat sticker, which tells you how long it's been. I literally went to the post office like for the first time, kind of when I just moved in here. So it's been a little bit. Anyway, there's nothing for you, Bo. Stop being nosy. Anyway, first things first, I picked up a the Deluxe Mystery Bundle from Shine by SD. Now, the reason I picked it up is because I've been wanting to try Shine for Shine by SD for so long. However, every time like I work, my hours are such that I just can never buy any of the new shit that comes out. It's always sold out by the time I show up and I'm like I'm very annoyed. I'm like, what am I gonna do? Call them and be like, excuse me. I don't know if you know this, but I work several hours a day and I'd appreciate it if you could just put a couple behind for me so I could order them. Like, but anyways. So I got a mystery bundle because I was like, I want to try it. So for the first two things I want to show you is I got the mystery quad, which is like the set, the number two mystery quad. And then I also ended up getting this mystery shine lighter. This one is in shade one. So let us swatch. I actually had to like, I opened this because I had to kind of pat it back down in there because if you guys, if you can y'all see, it is like really in, like there's a lot. So I've packed it back in and just by like packing it back in, I'm gonna be able to pick up some, Bo, I swear. He, uh, I, he, it's either that or something squeaky. So, you know, let's just deal with the crinkles. So anyway, I pat it back in. This is like it on my finger. All right, and then we're going to just, oh Jesus, okay. That is really pretty. That is it on my hand. It looks like wet. And it kind of has like a greeny gold reflect. So I'm looking forward to trying this. Also, fun fact, when this video goes up, all right, approximately sometime that same day, there will be a poll asking you a question. And I will let you know what that question is at the end of the video. Okay, so the next thing, because there's so much hype around them and I never get to try anything. The next thing I'm gonna open up here is the Mystery Quad 2, which I cannot figure out how to open because I'm not as smart as I thought I was. And it's got like a pink, um, uh, like a gold, a orange, and a blue. Okay, um, so I'm gonna go into the pink, oh. Uh, uh, the gold, uh, blue, and orange. All right, they have a very interesting smooth texture. So I'm going to just, we're having a weird swatch party. So I'm going to boop down. Oh, that's okay, okay, there we go, all right. And then boop this down. It's a very smooth kind of crumbly texture. I know people are like, you can't judge the brand based off of this, I can do what I want. Um, and then, the, oh, I like the orange and the blue. All right, so that's all of them. The pink is the one that I'm like most disappointed by, shade-wise. Um, and like gold, I don't really care about gold because I have so many different like gold highlighters, gold shadows, gold shimmers. And I don't mean that as a slight against the brand. I just don't care for gold. Like I like gold, but I don't care that I have gold. But I am happy with the orange. I don't know why I'm calling, saying it weird. Orange and the blue. So like, Am I showing it to you? Am I am I showing it to you? Am I showing it to you? I'm sorry. Anyways. <laughs> okay, the fun part comes in that you also get six, six individual shades, all right? So I'm gonna do these in much order, as much order as I can. No, I'm not, I'm not gonna try that. That's gonna go badly. All right, so the first one I have, these are all limited editions. This is Beautiful Mystery and it's number, they all say Beautiful Mystery. This is number 21. If you got number 21, this is what number 21 looks like. All right, so it's kind of cool because with this lighting, anyways, this is just a bronzy shade, eh, you know, bronze is bronze. Oh wait, that's actually really pretty. It's got a little peach undertone on it. So, okay. 
And no, it doesn't have peach undertone, that's leftover shade. Um. <laughs> Y'all, I don't know what was going on with my autofocus. I, I honestly need to spend more time figuring out my camera. I just haven't had time to spend time to figure out my camera. So I'm sorry if some of the swatches are blurry. Bo, get out of the toilet, oh my God. Maybe it does, hold on. Like, let me just live my medium life. All right, so then I also got number 20. All right, let me see if I can open it. I spilled a little bit of coffee, like little on the outside. This is like a greeny bronze, which, oh, oh. I'm going to put these in a palette at some point, but like this is a greeny bronze. I'm holding it at a weird angle um, in the hopes that I don't fucking drop it. So like, let me live my best life, okay. Hold on. Oh, baby Jesus, I almost dropped it anyway. As soon as I said the word drop, it just like started going on its own mission. Rude. All right. Ooh. Ooh, bitch. Okay. Now this I can fuck with. This is giving me a good feeling. It's a very grungy shade. It's right here. Oh my gosh. That is really pretty. Let me turn it like this. Oh, okay, bitch. All right. Let me go wash my fingers. Be right back. All right, now I'm back with clean fingers, exactly four, which is what I need for the last four shades. I have also number 19, which, um, y'all, this is like this pretty, oh my God, it's like this green. Let me um do, there we go. There we are. Look how pretty. Oh my gosh, it's like this, oh, it's like a mermaidy green. Ooh, I did, oh my God, it has like, oh my gosh. Okay, so it has, um, I don't know if I'll be able to capture any of this on film with my, well, I never could, but anyways. Um, Cause I'm like, I never had that skill. But it has like purple and pink in it. So I'm gonna just, oh. These are very smooth. Very smooth. Oh my God, look at it on film. It's just great. Oh, oh. Noises. Go check it out, boy. Next up, I have number 25. Do you know I cannot say 25 in Spanish? That's neither here nor there, but I can't say it. Then we have, uh, I'm like, I can't say it. Um, and then we also have this, which again, There we are. It's really pretty. It's a purple. It looks to be blue purple, a blurple, if you will. Okay. I feel like I am correct with that assessment. Don't worry. Be happy. Don't worry. Be happy. Ooh, don't worry, be happy. All right, so this be her there at the bottom of my hand. I don't know why it's like, we're gonna focus on your fucking lamp. I will always, I always get something where it's like my camera decides that it likes that more than anything else. All right, next I also have, I got number 18. I feel like it's 18 through like 22 or some shit. What's 18, 24? I don't know. Let's, uh, we know I can't math. All right, so the next one, ooh, this is a beautiful silver, but I feel like, I feel like there's more to this silver than meets the eye. I'm not doing a good job of showing it, and I don't wanna fight it. Ooh, this is like a bit crumbly, but it seems to have like, it's silvery, but it looks a little bit green to me. It will go will really well with a green. That's what I will say. There it is right here. There we are. And then the last shade is number 24. I think I did do the math right. Did I say 24 before? Don't look at me, but look at me. But don't look at me, but look at me. All right, so I'm trying to open it. And this is like a mauvey like shade here. There we go. All right. Ooh, this is it's such a smooth formula. That's the thing they find interesting. 
Like I'm, that's one of the reasons I got this is because I wanted to try it out and try out the formula and see if it would be worth it to me to purchase any more because I hear good things and I've also heard like meh things. So I wanted to know. I'm sorry, I forgot I was doing show and tell. And so there that is. All right, so the last thing that was sent in the mystery bundle is I feel like it's a lip gloss and it's galaxy purple. And we'll just um, try to swatch a little so it's not disgusting. I know that sounds weird, but like lip gloss swatches kind of gross me out. Even doing it now, it's like kind of sicking me out just a smidgen. But I just put like a little bit on my finger so that you can see it. I think it'll go nicely on top of this blue lip. It looks really glossy. It's a lip gloss, you know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna, oh my God. It smells like grape. <laughs> it smells grape, y'all. Okay, that is so exciting. So that is my Shine by SD mystery bundle. And we will be back to talk about that after I get my hands cleaned up and then I have uno mas surprise para ti. Okay, so next up in the Indie Beauty Fugue State Buying Extreme Super Party. Say that even one additional time fast. First of all, I know that y'all have been admiring this lip. I ordered from Black Moon Cosmetics. I was really excited to do so. I've been wanting to try them for a bit and I hadn't, and I couldn't figure out why. And what got me was this packaging, y'all. It really does come like this. Like I saw it and I was like, wait, what? So me being the me that I am, the meest me that I can be, I ordered it and I was like, oh shit, of course. Like look, it matches the coffin lamp, y'all. Anyways, I'm gonna, <laughs> so, <laughs> but I have on my lips, the shade that I have on right now is Hellraiser and is that not apt? And I, like, it is really fucking pretty, like, it is, it, it like, it gave the look that like extra oomph. Anyways, and then the other shade I ordered, I'm trying to remember because I don't remember. Like look, you open it and it's like. Good evening. Anyways, um, <laughs> it is hard for me to get out of this little casing, but I don't care because like the casing is so fucking cute. Like the packaging for this, like, that was, I mean, y'all. Uh, I got Elm Street, which I think is, is it? Oh, yes. Because I can never have enough burgundies. Now here's why I always, like whenever I'm ordering uh, lip products from a new brand, I will always order this, th that shade in particular. Uh, because if you cannot make this, this type of shade for me, then like I don't really want it. But, in just a, I'm gonna try some shit out. I was like, oh, I'm gonna just put this on my lips. It feels so good. It feels good on the lips. Is it on your teeth? No. It doesn't get on the teeth. Now I'm all like, sorry. It's the nuts I ate earlier. Not those kind of nuts. We know better. Uh, but I did get these and I'm really excited. So far, the lip is doing very well and I cannot even, like I would definitely say like yes for the lip stuff, like yes. I also picked up the Urban Myth Palette and look at how cute this is. Look at how cute that is, listen, first of all. So this is what she is looking like. So first of all, can we just talk about how the mirror is a fucking spaceship? And can we also not look at the trash? Okay, thank you. This is a really pretty palette. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through. We're gonna swatchy swatchy it. All right, so this is the palette swatched out on my hand. Y'all, I, Bigfoot is really soft. So it's this shade here, which is Bigfoot. This is the palette swatched out. Um, yeah, well, listen. Guess who's gonna have a party? It's gonna be me and you are part of this party. So here's what we're going to do. At the end of this video, or if I can put it in here, I will, but it's probably just gonna be on my community page. There is gonna be a poll, Black Moon or Shine by SD. And whichever one wins is what I will be doing a look with 
and uh, maybe a chat. I don't know. We'll look, we'll do a look. We'll talk about. We'll see how we like. I don't know what I'm gonna do, but that'll be the next palette or product that I play with for y'all to see. <gasps> there will also be a, there's a video coming up about Pam and Tommy. There's gonna be a video coming up about Lethal Cosmetics and this gorgeous palette that I'm wearing on my eyes. There's also gonna be a video coming up about the Tinder Swindler. It's so funny because uh, Miss Tina Fancy Face. Uh, beat me to the punch but yes I'm gonna be talking about it. I haven't even watched her video yet because I didn't want to get like <gasps> but those videos are coming up and I hope that you enjoyed this one let me know if you enjoyed these like random little fugue state videos that I show y'all where it's like I bought this shit in a fugue state hope you enjoy it also just a side note that it, it is gonna be a little bit for all of the like good make like not good makeup but videos but for more makeup videos because first of all there's stuff that I was supposed to have reviewed or talked about or whatever I I haven't found it yet so when I find it, when it's unpacked, we'll talk about it. All right, y'all, that is it. That is the video. I hope you enjoyed this. Please do me a flavor if you did, and give this video a big thumbs up so then that way the algorithm goddess can do what she does best, which is push me further down into the algorithm so that I can continue to do what? Whatever the fuck I want to. As usual, huge shout out to my patrons and spooky bays yeah without which i truly would not be able to keep the bats in the belfry and the spiders firmly ensconced in their webs and you know to all of you who watch like share and subscribe i appreciate you as well consider joining my patreon or channel membership for behind the scenes footage of what the hell it is i do when i'm not making these videos all right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. It's zero, zero dollars to be kind. It's so good for your soul because if you don't take care of it, I'm sure shit coming for yours. Until next time, XOXO. <laughs> Gothic girl. I really hate that you figured out the ending. I know a man did this because there's no way. There's no way a woman did that. It's like, this is so fucking annoying. <clears throat> Are you ready, little dude? Normally, look, I like the sound of the train. They're like, Today, we are here with, get down, big guy. Get down. You're too big. Anyways, he always thinks that he can fit in my lap. He cannot. Like, I love that. Okay, now it's gone. Because now you're here in my lap. Come on, get down. I can't get off. If you remember, we've had this conversation. You have to get down, though. Like, you have to get down so that I can get down. Never mind. <laughs>